I want you to understand one thing. We are not closed. We never have been closed. In fact, we have been more engaged over the last eight months than we have ever before. You should be so proud and thankful for our hardworking staff. They've been innovative, creative, hardworking, and they have not forgotten you. And hopefully you see that because we're still preparing children's ministry, student ministry. Uh, we're still preparing sermons. We're still counseling. Uh, we're engaging the community in new and innovative ways as we've had to resort to drive through food distribution that's massive on a scale unlike we've ever seen before. And so what we would like to ask of you um, as you think about the next eight Sundays is number one, you please continue to stay engaged. Okay, even if being online is uncomfortable for you, do it for the sake of the body. There's people that need to see your face and hear your voice as much as you need to see them and hear their voice. Okay, so even though it's not the most ideal medium, it's not comfortable in a lot of ways, please just will yourself to be engaged, even if it's virtual, just as a way of encouraging your brothers and sisters. We have some 15 groups. If you need help in any way getting online, please let us know. We'll find a technology solution that, so that you can be involved and engage others online. Secondly, pray for us, right? Everybody is leading, trying to lead well through these uncertain times. It's very, very challenging, and we're all tr trying to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and trust God and know what He wants us to do for for this particular body. And so please pray for us as we continue to be to uh, understand who he wants us to be and to be obedient to his call. And lastly, of course, give. Give as consistently as you can. Be as generous as you can. You know, we've continued to stress how important year-end giving is in the life of this church. Every year it helps us end well, propels us into next year, and, and it's just such a big part of our overall annual budget. And so as you think about your year in giving, please remember the church and be as generous as you can, especially if God has just blessed you during this time. And so we'll continue to believe and trust for his own provision going forward. We love you guys. We miss you so much. One day we are going to be able to hug each other and high five each other. Know you're missed tremendously and we love you dearly.